Well, I'm back to the grind. Out here taking it apart some more. Um, finally got the starter out. Kind of a pain in the ass. I didn't have any exhaust coming off behind the header, so it gets a bunch of soot on it. So probably a good thing I didn't run it much. Would have heated up my starter and fried it out. But anyway, now that I got that apart, I can go ahead and take the training lines off. Uh, go along the other side and take the linkage off unplug the uh, neutral safety switch matter of fact I should get another one of them because they ain't working right or maybe it just needs to be adjusted I don't know and then uh, there's vacuum line I gotta take off and then I can unbolt the torque converter <clears throat> and then I go ahead and get in there and take the bell housing bolts off the training cross member off and lower it out and take her out shouldn't be too long now well now I've got everything unbolted off of the tranny so uh, I can go ahead and take the uh, torque converter bolts out and the nuts off and then I can take the bell hosing bolts off and uh, that cross member back there and should come right out I put the pan back on to uh, protect the valve body and everything kinda keep from from getting a bunch of dirt in there man this thing's gonna have to be cleaned well, I've got the uh, torque converter uh, nuts off. I got a couple of the bell housing bolts off. I think there's a couple left, only like two on the top. Got the nuts uh, off of the transmission uh, transmission mount back there. Uh, so now all that's left is take a couple of little bolts out and drop her down. She should be ready to go. Well, finally got her out. Took a little bit of doing, but uh, she came out. That ah, dirty pig. So I'm going to slide this one out of the way for now, and then I can pull the engine out and pull the car out, and then I can start uh, taking everything apart and looking at it. You know, it's kind of a pain to get these out by yourself, but oh well. I tell you, this torque converter is massive. It weighs a ton just by itself. It don't look too bad. A little bit of dirt and grime and shit, but all you know, that's getting replaced anyway. So, well, there it is. I'm gonna go in and shower. Yeah, I look like a typical grease monkey. I guess I'll never be a hand model. Damn it. Well, anyway, next time we pull the engine.